Well, here we... to neutralize and sanitize. Customer, your SAM unit is well, better off than the Marauders, at least.
I've been seeing more people around here lately. Scavengers, sniffing the ruins. Business is good, I guess. Sorry about Freddy and Trixie, when they're not- They like to blow off steam during work hours, but as soon as they clock out, so- Come back. Did you feel that shockwave from the old- So. Be seeing- No, the drinks aren't watered down. I don't want any- Or maybe a- Friends here, even when we ain't gonna puke. No, no, it went down. False alarm. Freddy's a blathering idiot, but <sighs> he's my blathering idiot. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Freddy's a blathering idiot, but. <sighs> He's my blathering idiot. Trixie's a stubborn gal, but I love her to pieces. What are you looking at? It's been a day, let me tell you. If I need any more llama related help, you'll be the first to know. Llama? The lab's blown to bits. The evil's been destroyed. My work is... Salvage or you here for salvage or merchandise? You felt that too, right? Pretty sure something blew up the old lab. Good. Good. It's about time. You all right there? You sounded a little funny for a moment. I'm fine. Better than fine. Glad to have that off. How's about I buy the next it? round? This is the if best so. joint in the system. Ain't that right? Aren't you the guy who found Llama Rock? Ah, this is the best joint in the system. Isn't that right? So, how you feeling? Good. Real good, like, like someone's shining a light behind my eyes. Got any more of that stuff? Oh yeah, plenty of it. Mix rounds on me.
wall. It's coming back up again. I'm all right. That last one really emptied my guts. No, wait. Here comes more. The whole building was shaking. Did someone set off a bomb? Hold off. That set me off. I'm gonna hurl. What are you looking at? Never seen a grown man puke before? This is not my proudest moment. It's not fair, I tell you. I only had two drinks. How is there anything left inside of me? Now I'm hungry again. To make matters worse, I think someone pooped in my pants. When did I become such a lightweight? I just need a minute for my stomach to settle. This is not my proudest moment. I think we ought to lay off the Adrena time. What? Why? Ever since they blew up the old lab, I, I got a bad feeling, like we shouldn't stick that junk into our veins. Maybe you're right. You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? Don't really seem like the type. You've got the look of someone who's traveled far to get here, and whose journey is far from over. Not me. I'm right back where I started, and the end is almost in sight. Listen to me, being all vague and mysterious. I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are, can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the Marauders would eat me alive. <laughs> Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublight to help me, but they haven't made much progress. It is to me, but apparently it's junk to Sublight. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. No, we're good, that's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. When the order came through to evacuate, non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Jerome won. I lost. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. I never saw him again. That Jerome always chose the right thing, even when it got him killed. This place is greedy. Took my Jerome, and it would have taken me too. I just want one thing back. His old hip flask. I gave it to him the day we signed our marriage contract. And he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. No point in denying it, he died on this rock. Likely torn apart by marauders, unless... He took care of himself on his own terms. I don't like to imagine what happened, but I know I have to accept it. You'd really do that for me? Law. And I'll bet you're worth ten of those sublight sprats. I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. Yeah? That old flirt? Yeah, I let him buy me a drink or two. He talked my ear off about exciting jobs he'd done. All lies, I'm sure. He fell asleep with his head on my shoulder. 
That man had baggage like you wouldn't believe. I didn't think anyone could be lonelier than me. He bragged about having the key to some sort of maintenance area in one of the old buildings. I never saw it, so I just assumed he was talking himself up. He also asked if I wanted to see something gross and slimy he kept in his room, but I declined, politely. He put on quite a front, but I think he was weary, like he'd seen too much and had too little to show for it. I guess we were kindred spirits in a way. Sure thing. My condolences if you two were close. The lab coats kept quiet about the project, but the air was charged with excitement. You could feel it wherever you went. They wanted to change the world. A tenfold boost to worker productivity with no side effects? Who wouldn't salivate at the thought? I don't know what went wrong, but when the shit hit the fan, it sprayed everyone in its path, including me. As soon as they sober up, I'm heading back to the ruins. You find anything out there, you let me know. I'm ready to get off this rock. Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublate to help me, but they haven't made much progress. Well put. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good time.
Getting the hell off, Gorgon. In his final hours, Gorgon... When the order... A broken... This place is greedy. I gave it... That's it, all right. Law. Still smells like his whiskey, his cigarettes, and that awful cologne he bathed in every morning. Here. I saved up for this, just in case I needed to go out into the ruins myself. Truth be told, I'm glad I never had to use it. You didn't happen to find anything else out there, did you? I understand. I don't know what I was expecting, but of course you're right. Thank you for the flask. Jerome and I were supposed to live and die together, but sometimes fate has other plans. Time for me to get off this rock. Memories hang around here like a bad smell, and I could use some fresh air. I don't know, Cap. I hope she'll find some peace in this, but... Sometimes it's better to know the truth and deal with it. Thanks again, stranger. <laughs>